Time now to take a look at our ultimate performance presented by BMW, Oklahoma's Caleb Williams, who came on in relief of the relatively ineffective Spencer Rattler. Williams went 16 for 25 with 212 pass yards and two pass touchdowns to help keep the Sooners undefeated. So here's a look at how the Sooners fared with each quarterback under center on Saturday. Spencer Rattler was pulled late in the second quarter with Oklahoma trailing 35-17. Williams did end up being the more effective quarterback. Here's head coach Lincoln Riley on the quarterback question. I know I'll get a bunch of questions about it. Uh, don't plan on naming a starting quarterback here this week. We'll see how the week plays out and see where we are when we get to Saturday. Um, guys have done well, practiced well today, so we'll, we'll see how it goes. Spencer did not play his best early in the game the other day. Caleb came in and did a good job. Uh, Caleb wasn't perfect either, uh, did a good job. Spencer did a great job coming in on the two-point play. You know, for me, I, I, I feel like I have two really good players, and I feel like I don't see it as a problem. I don't see it as an issue. It's like, you know, you've got to choose uh, between two great options, and uh, it's a good position to be in. And I know both those kids will respond no matter what position they're in. I think he was spot on that he was likely to get a fair amount of questions. Here's Kirk Herbstreet earlier today on This Just In explaining the delicate balancing act that Lincoln Riley is now facing. If Spencer Rattler is not the guy Saturday against TCU, Bear, and he gets frustrated, third-year guy, he could theoretically opt out, go back to Phoenix, start training for the NFL draft, and they would be left with Caleb Williams and walk-on freshmen as, as backup quarterbacks. I think this is a microcosm of all of college football right now at that particular position and how challenging it can be to make decisions that you ultimately want to make, but... It's, it's, it's a catch-22 because you don't want guys to leave because they get upset about it. It is a catch-22, Greg, and it's one we're just going to have to get used to managing. What, what do you do in this situation if you're Lincoln Riley? I would open up the quarterback competition. I've, and we've had this conversation now for several different teams over the last several weeks. It was just a couple weeks ago that Bo Nix for Auburn got sat down in favor of T.J. Finley, only to come back the following week and dominate against an LSU team. We had the same conversations about Emory Jones and Anthony Richardson at Florida and how Anthony Richardson is really the spark that the Gators need to beat the Crimson Tide. But what did Emory Jones do after competing in the first two weeks? Well, he went out against Alabama, had the game of his life, and almost gave the uh, Gators the victory. So what I'm trying to figure out right now is I understand that Caleb Williams was the best guy for the job last Saturday. What I don't know at this point is if Caleb Williams is the best guy for the job permanently moving forward. That's why I would go week to week. I would make Spencer Rattler and Caleb Williams for that matter go out and earn the job that week by their performance and practice. I think Caleb Williams has a remarkably high ceiling, has a great Great skill set, but let's not lose track, Sam, of what Spencer Rattler's done in an Oklahoma uniform the last season or two. So this is still a kid that can win. He's just got to get his moxie back. He's got to get his confidence back. And the only way to do that is by creating a game-like atmosphere and practice every day where he's competing against his backup. Yeah, and there's so much truth, Greg, to what you're saying about that game-like atmosphere. What I will say is this. You talk about not forgetting, and there's so much truth to that. But last year, let's not forget that Spencer Rattler got benched in the Texas game, that four-overtime game. Then he came back, and he dominated for the rest of the season. He came back on a tear, and that's when this whole talk of him being a Heisman frontrunner began. And so we saw that last year, and then who knows? This same thing happened. You get benched against Texas. You come in for a two-point conversion. You run one good play, which was great. But now you could be the starter moving forward. To Kirk's point, yes, Spencer Rattler could leave early and could go start training. But from what's been put on tape, NFL scouts may not be as excited about what they've seen this first half of the season. So it may be wiser for Spencer Rattler to stay and try to, for lack of better terms, win that starting spot back. Greg, listen, let me ask you this. If you're the Sooners, do you just, do you not worry about the possibility of Spencer Rattler? You know, he's got some opportunities that would be available to him if he did get upset. He can enter the, enter the portal. He can do other things. Do you just not worry about that and say, we're going to do what's best and we'll see how, you know, we'll see where the chips fall? 
Well, I, I can't be worried about his, his feelings. I mean, I got to worry about what's in the best interest, not just that one individual, but I have 125 guys on this team. If I'm Lincoln Riley, I owe it to him. I owe it to my fans to play the best player. And the best player is Caleb Williams and Spencer Rattler throws a fit and decides to lead the program. So be it. It is what it is. Unfortunately, with what we have going on in college football nowadays, Spencer Rattler can essentially do whatever it is he wants to do. If he wants to leave, go train for the draft, opt out, quit the team, transfer, he can do those things because players have been empowered it's all good it's all well and good but it does lead to some difficult decisions and a delicate handling of situations like this when you're a head coach yeah there's no question it changes the dynamic it is what it is and again i said it before we'll all have to adjust but it does change things a little bit uh when you find yourself in the head coaching position thanks for watching espn on youtube for live streaming sports and premium content subscribe to espn plus